According to a report in World Net Daily, some of the richest men and women in the world met secretly in New York recently. When the world's wealthiest individuals hold secret meetings, it's time to pay attention. In 1910, the six wealthiest men in the world met at Jekyll Island, Georgia. That meeting resulted in the creation, three years later, of the largest criminal enterprise ever devised, the Federal Reserve, so-called. Judging from the list of participants, the recent meeting in New York may result in something even more monumental. The London Times identified them as Bill Gates, David Rockefeller, Ted Turner, Oprah Winfrey, Warren Buffett, George Soros, and New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg. Based on the Forbes magazine list of billionaires, the room had a net worth of about $120 billion. With all the bailout figures we've heard recently, that doesn't sound like that much. Believe me, it is. $120 billion is about equal to the annual budget for all of New York State, from New York City to Buffalo and everything in between. The meeting, which took place in early May, was at the home of Sir Paul Nurse, a British Nobel Prize-winning biochemist and president of Rockefeller University. Microsoft's founder, Bill Gates, called the meeting. The London Times reported the informal afternoon session was so discreet that some of the billionaires' aides were told they were at security briefings. Discreet is the British way of saying secret. I do not believe that it is coincidental that this meeting came only a couple of weeks after another super secret and more powerful group met in the secrecy in Greece, the Bilderberg Group. They have advocated a one world government for at least a century. They also see themselves as the elite saviors of mankind. According to the Times, the billionaires were each given 15 minutes to present their favorite cause. Over dinner, they discussed how they might settle on an umbrella cause that could harness their interests. Taking their cue from Gates, the report said they agreed that population control was the number one issue. Experts say the global population will top 7 billion in 2012. According to reports at the meeting, Bill Gates outlined a plan to cap the global population at 8.3 billion. It all sounds so civilized, doesn't it? Here's the less politically correct but more accurate version. A group of unelected liberals with more money than many governments have just decided how many people will be permitted to live. This group of self-appointed governors will now have to draw up criteria to be used to decide who will not be permitted to live and how they will die. It can and will be dressed up in polite and civil terms, but in the end, it means certain people will have to die. The meeting was billed as a meeting of philanthropists wanting to do good. But one can put lipstick and pearls on a pig, and it'll still be a pig. In the final analysis, there's only way, one way to cap a population, by deciding who's permitted to live, and who, for the good of all, must die.